So I'm a little bit disappointed that a lot of my subscribers and even other content creators which I'm friends with have sent me this story suggesting that the previous CEO of Twitter has been arrested by the FBI. Because Elon Musk, apparently, has found out that he has CP on his computer and he sent that information to the FBI and the FBI arrested him. So, my question is, like, why can't people debunk the information themselves? Like, what, why, why exactly do you need fact checkers to do the thinking for you? First of all, if a news article is something that aligns way too much with your view of the world, especially when it's a little bit unlikely that such information would surface, uh, then maybe you should treat it with a little bit of skepticism. I mean, the way I do it, I would be thinking, okay, well, if such a case happened, then it should be all over the news. It shouldn't be just some random article on the corner of the internet or some post on Twitter. It would be everywhere. Now, even if you were to say, okay, well, the liberal media, like CNN would never cover something like that. First of all, they would, but like, you would have Fox News covering it, right? Like, you would have major publications that you know about covering it. And when that doesn't happen, you should get a couple of questions. And you should ask yourself, is this news really true? Now, if you actually look at the source of the news, it turns out that it comes from a satirical website. And for some reason, it started trending on Twitter with a lot of people believing it and sharing it around. Now, I do want to point out that this is an excellent way that the government in the past, not, not just the government in the United States, but the government of Romania and many other places, are using as a tactic in order to delegitimize actual questions and concerns. So, for example, vaccines. Oh, everyone loves vaccines, right? But there were some questions about the mandates. I mean, is it really, you know, uh, constitutional? Is it, is it really okay to tell people that uh, if they don't get the stick then uh, they can't leave their house or go to work or stuff like you know like th th those were legitimate questions now on the internet there were some rumors that if you get it apparently you get magnetized that you can move magnets you keep, you become like magneto right so so what do the press do like what 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 do the official the, the authoritative sources do they will say that if you're not okay with the mandates that you must be with the magnets, right? Like that, that's kind of how it works. Like you, you have legitimate questions by, by certain people. And then there is this really bizarre, like far-fetched conspiracy that comes out, you know, like something completely detached from reality that every moron can realize, right? Well, this, this just does not make sense. And they push that. And, and then, like, if you do not 100% believe with, like, the well-polished version, with, with the correct source that the authoritative sources are pushing, then you must be with the crazy people, right? It's the same tactic that I guess they are doing with um, wh whenever they cover a protest. Like, did you notice that? So there's two types of protests. There's protests that uh, the establishment agrees with and protests that the establishment doesn't agree with. So if it's a protest that the establishment agrees with, well, if 10 people show up, they're going to try to frame it from an angle that it looks like there's a lot of people there. Uh, they're going to, to make sure that they edit out the responses to, to make it well polished. And if it's a protest they don't agree with, and let's say a million people show up, they're going to find the skinhead. They're going to find like the most crazy uh, person that can barely articulate two words, and that's the person they're going to interview. So... This is pretty much it. You know, like they, they are going to say that you're that crazy person unless you don't believe, you know, the, the establishment narrative. Now, it's important to, to know how to fact check because this is why I made this video, right? Like you don't need fact checkers to figure out if a new story is true or not. Like if, if the case is so astonishing, like, like for example, a high-profiled person having CP on their computer, it would be everywhere, right? Like, even CNN covered the Epstein case. Like, you, 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 can't, you can't say that, oh, well, the media is going to ignore it. And even if, like, a couple of media articles would ignore it, like, you'd have it on the right-wing media. It's, it's impossible. It's impossible that it would be nowhere to be found, right? So, like, just do a fucking Google search. 
And secondly, try to find the source. You know, like, maybe maybe it is possible. Like, maybe something is legitimately being suppressed. And no one wants to cover it. But, like, try to find where the source came from. So whenever you see, like, a picture of a tweet, or you see a picture of an article, just try to find out, like, where, where is that article coming from? Like, can you actually find the website? Can you actually find... And if you can't, then don't share it around, because it may be false. And this is another thing, right? Like, sharing it around. Because when you share it around, you lose credibility. Like the newspapers, they, they just wait for a public person, for like a blue check mark, to share something ridiculous. And, and then they, they're going to call that person a conspiracy theory. Like, like they're going to attack their credibility. They're going to say, oh, well, because you have posted 100% accurate information, but like just that one time, just that one time you shared something false, ah, clearly you cannot be trusted. Of course, the news media themselves post false things on a regular basis. But that's neither here nor there. Like, for example, the water dossier, you know, the, the Pissgate scandal with, with Donald Trump. I mean, they posted that, right? But, like, they're, they're not going to attack themselves and say, well, you know, like, anyone that posted the Pissgate, they need to get fired. No, they're, they're not going to do that. The Covington kids. Uh, Kyle Rittenhouse is a murderer. I mean, I, I can just go on and on. Like, there, there's many examples where the mainstream media has posted incorrect, Sometimes lying on purpose. Um, Kyle Rittenhouse, for example, they consider that uh, the people that got killed were, were black people, right? They, they never issued a retraction for that. I, I, I mean, I, I just tell me the publication. Like, it's impossible to, to not make mistakes. Sometimes the media, I, I question if it's a mistake or they do it on purpose. But, you know, like, even, even if you try to be honest in this line of work, eventually you're going to screw up. Eventually, you're going to post something false. Eventually, you may have an opinion that's incorrect or, uh, you know, the public doesn't agree with. And that's why the mainstream media ways. Now, now, when your opinion is so outlandish and so bizarre and, and so incorrect, oh, then they can use that as ammunition in order to further uh, discredit you. And this is why I'm asking people to at least make sure that you fact check and um, you're not po posting news that's bizarre right, and have absolutely nothing to do with reality. It's okay if you post something that's a little bit incorrect, you know, missing context or something like that. Okay, fine, you know, it can happen. But when you post something that's, like, easy to fact check and incredibly wrong, then you're actually uh, harming your cause. You're, you're harming your point. Now, before I forget, I have a subscribe star and I must shill. I don't usually shill, but every now and then I have to. Uh, there is a link into the pinned comment. If you guys want to scroll down and click it, just click the link. And uh, it will take you to a wonderful page where if you pledge even $5, you'll get buyer's remorse. I got it to you. Even with $5, you get buyer's remorse. If you pledge more than that, you get more buyer's remorse. Like instant regret. I got it to you. Like within a couple of seconds, you'll regret it. So, um, yeah, hopefully I'll see you guys in the next video. And uh, let me know what you think. Take care. See ya. Merry Christmas.